Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel ClickView Enthusiast. I am Abhishek, a ClickView learner, and in this video I will share my learning about the straight table. As you can see here in the screen, uh, on the left hand side I have a table box which contains uh, four columns country, export, government spend on companies, and total companies information. Whereas on the right hand side, I have a simple straight table which we usually found in a chart. So if I have to show you where, I, where we will find a table box and chart, uh, please follow here. So if I right click on the blank space, go to new sheet object and uh, I will find the straight table box here. So this is a normal table box which is displayed over here and generally it cannot contain any calculation or anything uh, in it. It simply contains uh, the columns which you have imported from the database. Whereas this straight table which has a similar look and feel when compared to table box but has some more properties and qualities uh, when it compares to the straight when it compares to a table box. So let's see where we will find this straight table. So in new sheet object, let's go into the chart and uh, select this straight table. After selecting this, we will click on next. And it is a requirement of our uh, any of the chart that it should have at least one dimension. So we will select the first dimension country for it. Click on add and after clicking on next we need to have at least one expression to create a straight table now for this let's enter sum 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 and the brackets and in brackets let's do the sum of first column which is export export click ok let's give it a name as export now let's create another column which is government spend on companies so we'll say sum in brackets government spend on companies okay and let's give the same level as government spend on companies let's add a third expression which is total companies so we will say sum brackets and total companies all right, so let's give the label as total companies. So let's click on finish and see it, how it is coming. All right. So this is the one, the table which is in the middle is the one which I have created for demonstration. So let's remove this for now because it contains a similar value like this. So I will click on remove by right clicking on the table, remove. All right, so at a high level, if we will look at the difference, the main difference we get is that we are getting this additional information, which is sum of all these values, which is below to it. So sum of export, sum of government spend, sum of uh, total companies is what we are getting on the first row. Whereas in case of a table box, you usually don't get any information. It is a very simple uh, table box which contains all of your columns as you have imported from the database table. All right, let's look at some more properties of a uh, uh, straight table to see how it can be useful. Um, it allows the end user to do an interactive sort. So for example, if you just currently, uh, we have a country column sorted as in ascending manner A to Z for all the countries, but if we want export to be in ascending order, we will double click on it. So these values are now in ascending order. If we want a descending order, we will again double click on export. And now the values will come in descending order and its related values will also obviously also change. So similarly, if you need uh, sorting on any of the column in any of the manner, you just double click on it and switch back and forth according to your requirements. All right, so let's move on to the next property, which is this sum. 
So this come automatically uh, whenever you are creating any straight table. And uh, if you have uh, for look and feel per se, you have the requirement to show it at the end, which is a standard practice across the company to show the total at the end of the table. So you can right click on the straight table, go to properties and in presentation, uh, you have this totals section. You can see is a change it as total in on last row. And as you click apply and okay, the total will come at the last row. You can give a label also. So we will go again into the properties, use a label, say total apply and okay. So now the uh, total will come. So if you have any custom requirements, say uh, total by department, total by, you know, uh, any of your customized label, you can do that by changing here or adding the expression also. It accept the dynamic expressions. All right. So let's see uh, some more properties uh, which you usually don't find in this table box, but in you will find this in straight table. So another property is that you can hide any specific column or you can do a conditional show based on some conditions. So for example, if you want to hide this export column, you click here on export, click on hide. And if you click apply and okay, the export column is now gone. So this is something very useful where you just don't want to change the overall structure of the table that you have created, but you just want to hide some information. You can do this very easily. Or if you have some condition, uh, that is also very much easy. You can provide some condition and based on that condition, the column will be hidden or shown to the end user. Um, other properties can be, you know, the maximum numbers you want to show here in this table. So for example, you just want to show the 10 rows in this table. You just click on enable this max number and enter that relative number 10 or anyone or anything. After that, you click apply and you say, okay. And the rows will now be limited to the 10 rows. So this is not like first 10 or last 10 rows. This is as simple as uh, how you imported the rows is now coming here and uh, showing you the restricted information. So the rows are now restricted to the 10 rows. All right. So let's go back and see some more properties. Uh, some more properties can be in expression tab. So for example, uh, in display options, uh, you want you, you doesn't want text, but you want some charting or mini chart or uh, some you want to provide some link. You can do the, all of this in for all of these changes in this normal text straight table. But this is something which is not available in the uh, table box. So this is, uh, I think uh, pretty much all I wanted to discuss here about a straight table. It has great options and I think it requires a lot of time to evaluate each and every one. But I just wanted to give you a gist of it so that you can utilize it in your dashboards and in reports and impress your management. I hope you will find this video useful and I will meet you in the next video with a new chart. Till then, bye bye.